Nothing wrong with starting the video with a picture of Einstein. We got that little photo here. Just because it's a cool photo. <laughs> in the back of our, or in the front of our bookstore. <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see how long we keep it there. So let's talk about the sales that I had and about one book in particular. Okay, the floor is really loud. That's what happens when you have... really old floors uh, so today is what is today Wednesday April 9th it's Wednesday April 10th 2024 and these are the four items that I sold in the last 24 hours on eBay three books one DVD set I also sold two CDs on Amazon and I'm in my bookstore <clears throat> the second location <clears throat> excuse me so these were all really good sales in terms of how much they sold for, but I also want to talk about this one in particular here, which was the, the jewel of, of the bunch. Um, I don't know where this one came from. I don't know the, if this was a donation. Um, this one was a donation. This was a trade. This was a trade. Uh, I've sold this before, this DVD set before, but none of these others. So this one let's start with this one west's arizona here i'll put it up here west's arizona probate law and rules 2009 2010 edition this has been up for probably a year if not more so title 14 trusts estates and protective proceedings um i don't really remember this one in terms of the research i did on it but did enough research that it did sell for $39.99 plus shipping. Uh, I believe that, yeah, it's been up for a little bit. So this is more of a long tail, but I don't mind long tails that sell for $40 plus shipping. I'll take those all day, every day. And the more you build up your inventory of books, CDs, you know, media, even if it's just books, you're going to have these long tails that sell for good money. Uh, I'm happy with anything that's long tail that sells for $30 plus. Um, that's where kind of the, the minimum is for me. If it's going to take like six to months to a year, if not more than a year, I want at least 30 plus dollars for it. Uh, so it's a, de a decent profit for me personally. You kind of have to figure that out on your own. What's <clears throat> what you prefer. Maybe you are okay with 20, maybe you're okay, or you want 50 at least, maybe you even want a hundred or 75 or whatever it is. You want to set that for yourself, um, to figure that out for your business. I also sold this book, which is called The Golden Goblet, by Luis Jarvis McGraw. This one sold for $26 and change. Let's see the year. This is actually a former library copy. As you can see, there's all kinds of stamps and stickers and whatnot. Whoops. This is from 1961. So this is, an, a, as you can see, it says fifth impression. You always want to look on the publication page to see when it was <clears throat> when it was published to see if it says anything about the either edition or the printing or sometimes it'll say impression I don't see that that often usually I just see edition or um, what, do you, what did I just say or printing oftentimes you'll see first edition uh, only or you'll see first printing sometimes you'll see um, you know, fourth printing, fifth printing, ninth printing, I've seen all the way up to like 64th printing on some books that were super popular and they just kept printing them because they continued to sell them and sell them. This one was from a trade from actually last month. I listed it very, really very recently. Um, that sold for $26 and change. This one was also from a um, trade. This one I have sold before. It is Focus on the Families, The Truth Project. I think there's six DVDs in here. If you come across this, pick it up. You can get it for pretty inexpensive. This did sell for $39.99 plus shipping. Um, let's see, an in-depth Christian work worldview experience. So this one sells all the time. It's got a little clasp here. And it opens up and there are multiple DVDs in here. So this one um, sells pretty quick as well. I just got this in in March. It's the second time 
like I said, second time I've sold it, and I would say this is an example of something that if you came across someone that had 50 copies, 100 copies of them, you'd buy, you should buy all of them because they're going to sell really quick for good money. Um, yeah, so that's an example too. You know, people say some other resellers uh, specifically, or at least on YouTube that I've heard talking about this. Um, basically, the, the point is, you know, trying to try to sell a lot of items for higher profit, right? But the chances of you finding a bunch of these at once is slim to none, unless you just happen to come across somebody that had a ton of them, or there's a bunch sitting in the thrift store or at a garage sale or at a flea market or wherever. But chances are you're just gonna randomly come across them. So for me, my advice is learn this kind of stuff so I know. I know when I see this, I know to pick it up. There's all kinds of other DVD sets that I've come across that I know if I see them, pick it up, uh, it's worth good money. So the chances of you finding tons of them at once are probably unlikely, but you kind of add it, you essentially, God, this floor, you essentially add it to your database and you know your mental database, your, your, your files, your file cabinet, whatever, and then you pull it out when you come across it and say, that's right, I remember this. This is definitely a good item to resell for sure. The last one here is House Made of Dawn by N. Scott Mamaday. Turns out this was a first edition. Also, before even opening it, you can see that it says 1969 Pulitzer Prize novel. So that's always a good one. A good indication that it could be worth some money. This also came from, a, this is from a high school library. This was a donation from a nonprofit that is in a local city that I am in that gets lots of books in because I work for their, a, a library, a um, nonprofit for a library. And hold on. Ugh, hold on. This one here, there's multiple dates. You can see 66, 67, 68. I don't know why it has three and it does not even say first edition. However, that's why it's important to do your research. I'm using my phone right now, so I can't show you uh, unless I stop the video and go onto the eBay app. But essentially what, <clears throat> what I did was, is I looked that particular cover up. So I, I looked up House Made of Dawn by Scott Mamaday, saw what popped up. I saw that this particular cover had first edition next to it for other listings, so I knew that it was worth the money. Of course, then I looked at the solds. I don't remember. I did get this uh, about a month ago. I don't specifically remember how many had sold, but you always wanna look at the solds and see what has uh, sold in the last 90 days on your app, on the eBay app, which is a free app. Uh, I use it all the time. It's how you're gonna do your research and learn about these different types of items to resell. Found out it was a first edition and it ended up selling, it listed it for, and it sold for $99.99 plus shipping. So it's a, apparently a, a pretty rare copy of the, the first edition copy. So there are literally millions of first editions of books. There's no way, no matter how long you sell books, that you will know every single one. It's impossible. There's too many books. However, you can learn about hundreds and then probably thousands I would imagine especially if you have a really good memory uh, everyone's mind works differently not everybody can remember everything that they've ever seen or every book that they've ever seen every title that they've ever seen of books and I'm just talking about books I'm not even talking about CDs DVDs uh, records video games just books alone if you only sell books you're never gonna know every single first edition what every single first edition looks like of every valuable first edition book I don't care how long you sell. So don't listen to anybody that says, oh, do your research before, front load it, uh, all that nonsense, because there's too many. Now you can do a little research, but there's just too many, I'm saying before, right? It doesn't make, how would you even know this book existed? Um, so what's important is that when you do come across items, you pick up clues like it's a Pulitzer Prize novel. I kind of, just by looking at the cover, to me, it looks pretty, interesting, artistic, unique. Um, I would definitely look it up and make sure, or, or to me, it kind of, it kind of says it kind of, it, to me, it is giving me clues that it is a first edition. Also the fact that a lot of libraries will 
only have the first edition because they will get a copy of it. And then when they let go of their older inventory, um, you know, donate it, get rid of it, like this one, it ends up that it can be worth some money because uh, there's just not that many copies out there. So do your research. If it does not say first edition, stated first edition specifically, or first printing, anything like that on the, the publication page, you should definitely, the copyright page, sorry, on the copyright page, you should definitely do your research. Also, you can use Abe Books, A-B-E books.com. Um, I don't think they have an app, but you can use their website through your phone and they have lots of great information. It's just listings like eBay, but they have lots of information about um, number one, whether this is a first edition, and number two, uh, what they're selling it for. Uh, sometimes their prices can be higher, sometimes they can be lower, sometimes they can be comparable to what's on eBay, but you can get a good idea of what, what an item like this is going for and compare it to eBay. See what, it sold, what, what they sold for and where you should price yours based on what it sold for, um, how many other copies there are, if there's any, and because you want to price realistically. If I had priced it at $199, it probably wouldn't have sold. But I'm totally happy getting $99, probably around 85-ish after after um, what do you call it? After fees and shipping and everything. <clears throat> so it's going to be a great, um, great bunch of sales over just 24 hours. Sometimes it's not quantity, it's quality, and sometimes it's both. Ideally, it's both, right? Lots of sales and, um, you know, a good amount of them are, are higher priced items. So get clues from a book. Look at the copyright page. If it doesn't say specifically first edition, look it up on eBay. Then look it up on eBooks. See where you're at. If it's a valuable book. If this was a $20 book, it's not really worth it. I mean, you still can sell it. It depends on if it's actually selling or not consistently, but I felt that it would sell, uh, that's why I put it up there. So keep that stuff in mind, guys. See you in the next video. Take care.